Hey guys, welcome to Business Coder. Last week we have discussed what it actually takes to build a cross-platform desktop application and we actually decided uh, the application context that we're gonna build and publish to production store. Uh, but uh, before jumping in, uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, receive latest content as soon as possible. Today we are going to discuss uh, how to build a mock-up uh, before jumping into straight coding and development. Uh, the actual benefits coming uh, from uh, the having a mock-up is uh, to plan ahead what we have to do and uh, know better understand uh, well how the application itself going to perform and what we actually need uh, to make our uh, user experience better. Uh, it is not a design, uh, it is more of a structural and UX type of stuff where we can decide whether we need this kind of button here or we can uh, manage a proper user experience uh, with the structure application structure itself it is also defines the functionality that we are going to put together uh, because in most of the companies uh, the main functionality is actually done, done by designers, not the developers. Developers just implement that stuff. Uh, but in order, because we are uh, in this channel developing our application uh, mostly solo or in a team, but uh, it is mostly coding stuff. Uh, and because we are full stack, we have to make our mockup applications before jumping into coding. That helps a lot. So let's just uh, go ahead and uh, try to find how we are going to do that. Uh, so in order to make mockups, uh, we are going to use an application called Balsamic. I'm very bad in terms of spelling that. Probably it's not spelled like that, but uh, I'm using this uh, for a couple of years and have done uh, a lot of mockups with it. It is desktop application. I believe they launched their web version as well, but haven't really used that much. Uh, it is not a design tool. You can just check that out. It's just a mock mockup. You can see uh, the frames here, it's not pretty designed, but in terms of user experience, you are just making a point and understanding what you actually going to build with it. Uh, so I have it already set it up and prepared uh, for you just to get started. And uh, before uh, actually showing up my mockups, I would like to uh, like explain the process how you are going to make these mockups. So first of all, like everything can, could be consistent uh, with the rectangles. Uh, that's the like main positioning of these mockup tools. That it is simple. You don't have to have some kind of a design experience. It's just all in your mind what you actually could uh, build with it. Uh, so uh, if we can imagine what is actually our application about, it is a time blocking or website blocking management uh, application using Pomodoro principle. Uh, and it is actually going to have uh, some menu inside the system tray, very similar to an application that I'm currently using. It is TickTick, a to-do application with embedded Pomodoro timer as well. Uh, it has like very similar th uh, user interface that uh, I'm going to build uh, later on, but uh, it, it most most of the functionality that it does uh, it contains inside this system tray menu uh, that available on a Mac on a Windows it's a little bit complicated uh, we have to build a more uh, uh, I'll say 
we have to build more uh, window kind of functionality in order to get this uh, same effect. But we'll just focus right now on a Mac. Uh, windows, we'll discuss Windows if uh, there will be need for that. Uh, so on a Mac, there is a couple of different types of menus. For example, I'm using this Docker. It's plain menu. That's kind of default. Uh, but you can actually define a custom menu uh, or custom view for this without like having uh, this standard one. Uh, it is based on Electron, so we are not uh, going to use uh, anything uh, other than Electron and we are not going to dive in with Swift or native coding. Uh, it is possible to do with Electron. So at the center there is a timer which sets up uh, how much time we are going to work uh, before jumping into a short break and we have uh, also configuration menu uh, which is very similar what we are going to do. I basically copy the user experience that uh, they have because they are pretty popular application and if they are designed in the way then uh, it's something that people are going to use uh, later on. Uh, so uh, this is like just a basic configuration for that and uh, this kind of configuration also helping us uh, to uh, be more like aggressive in terms of uh, work experience. Uh, so we, we are going just to add a new functionality in terms of website blocking list uh, as an additional feature that this kind of application don't have. So uh, this is the base mockup that we have uh, for our uh, system tray menu. It is uh, like very simple, no additional buttons or features, just a start button, uh, which is meant to be uh, also stop button if you are already in a start mode. Uh, it will just switch context. Uh, but here we have a timer, like almost the same uh, as we have right now here. Uh, it will be dynamically updated, no uh, specific need on like uh, opening and closing it again again. Uh, and on the bottom, I changed a little bit how they actually show here. It is uh, cycles that you have done over the day, uh, which means you worked uh, 60 minutes, then you had a rest uh, for the next 10 minutes, then you had another work. Uh, this is whole cycle. And uh, usually like Pomodoro principle is uh, highly customizable, but usually it is four cycles uh, to get work done and that's the norm of that. But it is obviously tweakable, you can change anything on there. And by clicking these settings, uh, it actually brings us uh, to our next window, uh, which is the Ba basically our main configuration menu that we are going to have. Uh, this one is uh, going to be the basic menu uh, window, uh, which is a standard Electron app. Uh, inside it will be React, uh, obviously. And uh, we have here a blacklist of websites that we are going to block. Uh, during work uh, times and they are free to use uh, during rest times which is defined here like 10 minutes or a long break 20 minutes and the base configurations are, are here. So this is fairly very simple app. We are not going to add any like complicated stuff right now. This is the our target uh, as a first version of that this and uh, yeah, that's probably it. Uh, and uh, in terms of uh, balsamic design, it's I, I love this uh, tool because you actually can export this uh, to an image. And uh, having this image 
save the app to your desktop uh, you are going to uh, be able to share it uh, with your team uh, and have a consistent uh, development flow uh, if uh, you are going to work uh, with the large team and especially it is uh, very useful for the designer uh, if you as a product owner or uh, entrepreneur that going to build uh, another thing uh, you will like to uh, like explain designer what you actually want to have and then designer going to come up uh, with the nice buttons design style guides but at least at the beginning designer should understand uh, why uh, you want to build an application like this and how it is going to act. Uh, in most of the companies, this kind of roles are dedicated to designers and product managers. But again, uh, we are developing our full stack applications here and uh, we can't rely on other people right now. So we are making our mockups in order to understand uh, what kind of uh, structure we are going to get later on. So. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, this balsamic uh, in introduction. Uh, definitely go and check that out. Uh, you can use like any other mockup tool. It's not specifically re related to balsamic. Uh, and also you can use design tools or just a pen and paper uh, if you can carry on your paper. <laughs> later on. Uh, I love this tool because it allows me to save uh, digitally and uh, keep my history in terms of app development, uh, but it's not definitely required to that. But having these kind of mockups just helps a lot uh, for the later development stages. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, please uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, stay tuned. Yep.